congratulations, Dr. Cleveland. Thank you very much. Um, you were the first to identify the tau protein, uh, believed to be a driver of Alzheimer's. Why was this initial discovery important, and where did it take you? Well, the, I was the initial one to purify this protein tau, whose uh, misassembly uh, in the affected neurons in Alzheimer's disease is the most uh, uh, salient hallmark of cognitive decline. So the basic science of discovery of what proteins really are, what they normally do, and how when they, in this case, misassemble, that, that we now recognize that's a key insight into disease. So the, the founding discovery is important. Mm -hmm. There are many other ones f following it. And now we know that, yes, tau misassembles in, in d Alzheimer's. And with the approaches that have now been developed for silencing individual genes, we have a gene target mm -hmm. for uh, a new a therapeutic approach in Alzheimer's. So would you say that advances being made within designer DNA drugs offer some hope to combat Alzhe Alzheimer's and other neurological diseases? So designer DNA drugs to suppress the genes whose synthesis drives the human neurodegenerative diseases, absolutely this offers mm -hmm. hope. It's uh, offered proof that in models of disease that we can really be effective. And now the, te the test will be how effective will we really be, will the enterprise really be in uh, affecting disease course in humans. We know that it can work from a, a, an, a therapy approach in, in, child, in a childhood disease. Uh, the, my corporate partner, Ionis, along uh, with uh, Biogen, took uh, the tau therapy to trial just this last October. Okay. So it's the earliest phases. But I think uh, I, I, I am an optimist. And I think there's reason for optimism moving forward. Thank you. Um, Mr. Brim, you studied math and computer science in college. Uh, how did you first get interested in science? And did you get encouragement to uh, follow this direction? Oh, goodness, science broadly. Um, I think it was since being a child. I don't know that there was one particular moment. It was just a, a natural interest. Uh, I remember, with respect to biochemistry, I sat in on a class at Stanford. Uh, it was uh, Gil Chu taught biochemistry, it so <laughs> happens. And you know that's where I ran across uh, some of these you know, basic concepts that have now been very well studied and developed. And as one of the co-founders of the Breakthrough Prize, how has it been for you to see this event from the first ceremony five years ago to uh, tonight's ceremony? I think it's been really exciting. I mean, I think it's uh, gained a real gravitas and a, a real um, brand of its own. I think it has attracted also uh, a significant attention to science, which, which I think rightly deserves a lot of attention because fundamentally science is how we're going to alter and improve the course of humanity. Well, thank you both very much. Congratulations again, Dr. Cleveland. Thank you. Thank you.